Hi guys, so I wanted to try and record myself doing a painting of the Grinch on my face. It's going to be a recreation of a look done originally by Lisa Marie Murphy on Instagram. She's one of my favorites. She's super talented. Check her out if you haven't. I don't know how you haven't, but yeah. And I'm going to show you guys how I personally paint because I don't know if everyone does it the same. And by the way, this is baking. So first thing I want to start with is showing you guys my paints because I know a lot of you ask what kind of paints I use and all that. So this brand is called Silly Farm. Um, they have these like rainbow cakes, I think that's called, where they have different shades of the colors. And um, I have a blue one and a pink one like that as well. And then I use this one. But yeah, I have that one and a black one of the same brand. Um, and then I use sometimes this palette. It's from Amazon. It's like $30. Um, wolf face paint. So the look that I'm doing is going to be kind of like special effects, kind of. Because the Grinch is gonna be like pulling my eye down and hanging onto my eye so I have to do that part first so I can see where I want to put his hand and everything else so the shade I'm going to like create a new lower lash line under here and even add lashes and everything probably with an eyeliner or something after then I'm gonna grab like a slightly angled brush this one's from wet n wild you know nothing fancy and then I'm gonna use Tanacon to like just add a little more shadow to it My right is here, my right is here. Just like right at the very where the white meets the brown, like right under. I don't know how to explain it, guys. Just look at me real quick. I'm just gonna do like a quick version, but if you wanted to make it last longer, for sure, you could use eyeliner and just draw out some lashes. But, like I said, I'm going to use paint, so here we go. I honestly hate drawing eyelashes because they never look real to me. Like, I just... But we're going to try. We're going to do this. I'm going to add a little bit of pigment right above the fake lash line. Now, I'm gonna go back in with black, but I want this line to be super thin because, like, you see your waterline? I have to give myself one over here because I don't have one. I'm my fake one. So, let's try to do that. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then to make the waterline like pop a little bit more, I'm gonna re-outline it in white. So that's what we have so far. I'm also gonna be adding like um, some like pulling skin effects after, but I think I wanna draw the bridge first. By the way, ignore my staining on my eye. I've been doing some pretty colorful eye looks, and it saved me. So this is gonna be a little difficult because I usually use my phone to look at the picture and recreate it, but I'm using my phone to record, so I'm just gonna be having to like freehand it a little bit, and hopefully it comes out good. Um, I'm starting off with a little bit of white here because he's wearing a Santa suit so his wrist is going to have like the white fur trim and I just wanted to make sure I have that placed and then I can draw his hand above that. I'm going to start with some red to draw the suit because I kind of want to get an idea of where, his, where he's going to be because then it makes it easier for me to like see the whole idea come to life and start taking, you know, shape. So, he is going to be like this. 
and then like So this is basically how I would start it. Like, I draw his body, and then I start adding a lot of the features and all of that. So right now I'm gonna add more of the white trim around here because going over color with white is kind of tricky. So now I'm gonna start drawing the shape of his face and then his legs. And don't worry about like if the white gets a little pink, you can always go back over it. Like right now I'm just trying to get like a basic shape and placement done and then I will go in afterwards to perfect everything. So yeah, I'm using my this one and my mirror. Shout out to my boyfriend for getting me this. The top of the head doesn't really matter too much because he's going to be wearing a Santa hat, but let me give him a neck. So I'm not sure if I love how the legs came out, but we're going to keep going anyway. I'm going to add his little hand hanging onto my eye. So... Like I said, if you get like anything on the white, it really doesn't matter. You can go back over it with more white after everything is like dried down a little more. But yeah. So I went ahead and added his hat, and I have to add a little more white trim around it. But I will do that in a minute. I want to add a little bit of like a line here to show that one leg in the front of the other and to show that it's two legs because I feel like right there it just looks like one big blob I feel like because like the outline isn't perfect it makes it look like he has fur so it works out you know it doesn't have to be perfect We got legs! That looks cute how many, I mean you guys get the idea. Obviously I gotta give him a face, but... Okay, he looks a little crazy right now, but trust the process! <sighs> Hopefully. Gotta outline the eyes. I added a little bit of detail in his face off of camera because I had to look at the picture. I didn't want to get his face wrong because then you wouldn't even know who he is. But, yeah, yellow eyes. I gotta fix his nose a little bit. It's like a little, bit, a little messy, but you can always fix it because that's the best part about painting. Honestly, you can always just go over it and make it right. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little more white to his Santa hat for the trim and the little ball at the end. Like, I'm gonna go back and make it a little more yellow, but it's cute. Okay, so my Santa, well, my Santa, my Grinch Santa is almost done. I just have to add red to the other eye, but the yellow is drying still, so I'm gonna wait. Um, I'm gonna do an eye look real quick, maybe put on a lipstick, then I'll finish up his feet and his eye, and maybe like some details on his jacket, a little more on his legs, but I will be right back after I do my eye. So I finished my eye look off of camera and added some super natural lashes. <laughs> Um, I did my eye look with my conspiracy palette. I used my pills, Tanacon, Diet Root Beer, my rides here, and Ranch as my highlight. I know you see it. And for my glitter, I used 
NYX Glitter Primer and my Thrill of It palette from ColourPop. So I used Renegade and Get Lost. Super shiny. And now I can finish the palette. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get a brush. To like highlight these skin thingies, the pulling thingy, I'm gonna use my ColourPop concealer on a very skinny brush and hopefully it looks good. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you learned maybe a little bit of something and yeah shout out to Lisa Marie Murphy for the idea of this look hers is incredible please go check her out and yeah um, check me out on Instagram uh, my name is looks by Jocelyn with two Y's and I hope I get to do another video soon